Shoulder pain. Shoulder pain. Starts in the neck. I feel like it starts in the neck because I feel like I have a pinched nerve and then that sharp pain that goes down to my thumb. And sure. I just like ran me up to like, I don't know what it is. It literally just yeah. painful. Weakness? No, no weakness. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. A numbness tingling too? I do feel that a little bit, yeah. And it goes down I to feel the like thumb. It, it goes down to the thumb and that's it. And then it's just like all in here. And I feel like I constantly even like crack my thumb. Yeah, yeah. And then I feel like I need to co like crack my wrist. For sure. I don't know what it is. I cannot right. pinpoint the issue. Cool. I'll scope so, that. That's, that's painful. Tender, yeah. Yeah. So again, that pinch nerve. Mm -hmm that you have, it's chronic, obviously, you've had it for a long time in the yeah. neck. When it gets upset, the surrounding muscles, such as the neck muscles, the trap, and all these muscles, they tighten up and they t cause more compensation, so more excessive muscle tightness that cause you to be or feel more symptomatic. So I'm just going to loosen it up as much as you can take, so just bear with me. You okay? Too much? I mean, it's painful, but I, yeah. I don't know I need it. Let me know if you tap out, because I know this sucks. Do you get headaches at all? Yes. Yeah. So we have a few points that will give you that, what we call a cervical genic headache. That's a, the reason why you get that is because you have this function of the neck right here. Mm -hmm. It'll tighten up the outside of the neck right here, the back, the base of the head right here. So oh, this yeah, muscle, yeah, it sucks. And that'll tighten up. And you'll notice that that gets worse when you're looking at your phone for long periods of time, mm -hmm. maybe like this, or typing in front of a computer for long periods of your you're a business owner, so you probably work a lot in front of the computer. Mm -hmm. So I just have to break that. You have a spasm of the paraspinal. And just let me know if it's too much, because I know it can get unbearable. Okay. Good. You okay? Mm-hmm. I just like to like manually break it up. Oh my god. <laughs> Sucks. Oh, that hurt. Oof. And just bear with me, I just have to break up that suboccipital. So when she's sitting in front of the computer all day or working in front of, uh, working with her phone, then what happens is that you're here and you have to look up sometimes. So you do that and then this tightens up here at the base of the head and it really tightens up and it causes headaches and neck pain. So you have to break up that tightness so you don't feel that much pain. Oh my God. And it sucks, it really sucks. Good, good job. That whole thing will translate from, from the base of the head down to the cervical spine, paraspinal right here, the trap, levator scap right here, and down the arm. And she has a pre-existing nerve condition, pinched nerve, so it'll typically go down to the thumb. Now, thankfully, she's not having any muscle weakness, but she does have the occasional numbness and tingling that shoots down the, the arm and hand and thumb, so. Sometimes that rear rotator cuff right here, teres major, minor, infraspinatus, it'll tighten up too. It's the whole dysfunction that really works its way down. Now she has that rolled in shoulder, so I have to stretch out the pec major and the rotator muscles. Just bear with me. Good. This gets the clavicular and sternal angle of the pec major, but it'll help that internally rotated shoulder. Then we're gonna stretch out the internal rotators by externally rotating. I'm gonna have you press upward, Norman. Push, like rotate up, your, your arm up like oh, that. Yeah, okay. yeah, just do that. Okay. Push, there you go, it's perfect. Five, four, three, two, one, relax it. Good job. 
push up again. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax it. Good. And that's good range of motion. And then cup your ear. And I'm just going to do a shoulder adjustment. Just relax for you. Good. That was good. Mm -hmm. Subtle, but it was good. Yeah. Let's have you go face down now. And I'm just going to adjust your spine now, the mid back. Give me a deep breath in, all the way out. Good. Relax the left and the right. Good. Whew. Good job. And let's have you on your side. Face me this way. We're going to get your pelvis. Right there. Let's get you just a little bit closer to the edge. That's perfect. Hold that right there. I'm going to push here and here. You won't fall. I hold you here. Good. Let's get the other side. Perfect. Let's get you a little closer. That's perfect. Hold your wrist. I'm going to push here, here. Let it go. Good. That was amazing. Let's go face that. Yeah. Thank you.